broken hearts. Direct Away Football TV. We're here at La Masia of America Allegiance Academy here in Dallas, Texas. Yeah. 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 It's probably one of the best academies you're gonna find anywhere here in America, man. I got my man Valdo here, who I knew since high school, who built this academy from the ground up. So I want to give an intro to Valdo, come in the center real fast, my boy. And then we got the owner of Legion's Academy. <laughs> <laughs> and so what they got going on here is actually amazing. Again, I'm calling it La Masia of America for a reason. If you look around, this is actually an academy that houses the players here. They have two indoor soccer fields. They have a chef that makes them food. They work with a strength and, get, a strength and conditioning coach. They train two times a day. They're in a very intensive curriculum here and they you know have some of the best quality players from a school perspective that you're gonna find anywhere on any of these one-on-one -on -one videos i promise you that so with valdo here i have like an actual uh brag sheet of some of the players and some of the compliments we have here so we have the u15 2002 national champions in the house we also have yeah the super copa champions from this year last year, last year in the house we have Five players here that have had national team calls for the United States national team for both men and women that have played international competition all over the world. We actually have the Guinness World, uh, Guinness World Record for the most juggles of all time, which is like 13,000 of them. Where's she at, Ashley? So we have some of the best quality players you're going to find anywhere in America, all right here in this academy. So without further ado, I just want to give an intro to Valdo and um, talk a little bit more about his training here because he's the one that's cooking them up. He's the chef. You know, in here having him train twice a day, that has him doing crazy videos. If you check out his YouTube channel, has him doing crazy videos that nobody else you're going to be seeing do um, at the academy level here in America. So I guess Valdo, um, in terms of the training you do and the philosophy behind it, just give us a little intro for how this came to be and how you get these players playing like this. Our training is all about making them the absolute best, mentally, technically, and physically. We look at the, what the best of the best are doing in Europe, Manchester City, Barcelona, and we try to replicate that because we firmly believe that with, with consistency, all players can be the next Messi, the next Kevin De Bruyne, the next Cristiano Ronaldo. And all we need is to believe, and more importantly, to show up and do our absolute best. The fortune for us, Dan has given us the platform, the environment to make that possible, and the kids are showing up and doing the absolute best. Our coaches are fully committed to it, and we're able to get it on. Without further ado, we're gonna start these competitions, right? So this is a one-on-one, -on -one, but it's also a little bit more than that. We're gonna have some warm-up competition drills that we'll do. Uh, one of them being a finishing competition, and another one being obviously the one-on-one. -on -one. So we're gonna get them warmed up do some rondos, do some long ball drills, and then without further ado, we're gonna jump into the competition. So live and direct with Football TV, here we go. Precision, that technique. We're not going for the crossbar, we're going for the for the post. Which is a lot more difficult. So we're gonna see what they made of. I don't know about you, but like I got I probably would have got dizzy beating that middle. Like that was like over 100 passes. After a while they just stopped like 
you know, chanting and caring. It's like, I've been out to their games, I've had them out all the way people before, and it's like, they're the ones that are gonna hold possession 70%, 80% of the time, and be O-laying you the entire game. It's like, they have that Barcelona, Pep Guardiola based, you know, philosophy in terms of team style possession, um, keep retaining the ball, and uh, being skillful on the ball. So, that's why we're here at La Masia, because if you're in the middle, you're screwed. for the warm-up is a finishing challenge. So I know you guys have seen this on social media. So basically what's gonna happen is one of the coaches from over there is gonna play me the ball. I got two touches, I got one to control, one to finish. Basically how this competition is gonna go is if you make it, you stay on. If you miss, you're out. And 100 bucks is on the line and that's the game. So we're gonna see the finishing. Obviously we saw the crossbar stuff that only one person was able to do. We've seen the rondo that Lord knows. I wish I wasn't in the middle for that. So we're gonna see how good the finishing is and after that we're gonna get to that one-on-one. -on -one. So, live and direct. And if nobody, if nobody makes it, then we keep it going. Somebody has to make it, or else we keep it going.
Over here, if you are on Team Caleb, you're gonna be on that corner. Yeah. Yeah. Politics, it's politics. If you are on Team Zoe in the middle. Homegirl here, right? Which let me not misquote has nope. Oh, can't do it. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. Can't, can't even say it. Can't even say it. But this is our winner. You got anything to say for the camera? I'm like that. Yeah. Hey. Facts. Hey. Facts. Hey. All right, let's get to these one on ones. What we all here for? One on one. This is one v one. We gotta be realistic. It is for five hundred dollars, so I'm sure you're gonna be at your absolute best. <laughs> but we also gotta go with the best. Comprend it. All right, all right. Oh. Yeah. 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 Everybody gets two reps. If you're a defender and your attacker doesn't score, or you take ball from them, then you win that rep. Um, I'll probably give you a penny. If you're a offensive player, and you do somebody, and you score, you get, a, you get a penny, move on to the next round. If you do somebody and you don't score, you have to evaluate how bad you did somebody to see like if it was a good enough move, we'll still pass you on, or if not, then you'll have another rep. And then we'll take the finalists from the offense and the defense for the final round. Um, the final round is single elimination, so you have one rep to go. If you score on offense, you're through. If you uh, take the ball away from, as a defender, or the, the, the attacker doesn't score, then you win on defense. And if we have a tiebreaker at the end, we go straight to penalties, and it'll be up for grabs for anybody, because there's no splitting the money. It's either gonna go on the offense or on the defense. 
Oh shit. Got some of these couple players now, bro. Time to put up a shut up. Be one on one for that 500. Real game situation type. Let's see it. Merch gonna go crazy, y'all. Mm -hmm. oh, Bit for that. Oh, we got standards. <laughs> we got standards. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
that's it. Okay, okay, good to that. So, that was the first round. Now we get to the final round of single elimination where if you go and you score, you're in. And if you don't score, you're up out of there. And there's a tie. Bena, bena, bena.
us in. If you guys are so good, nobody's missing. We're gonna make it easier for you guys. Crossbar challenge. They all just freaking making it, bro. So we had to go to penalties, and then they would keep on making it. So we had to go to the crossbar challenge because we we're over time, and they got school. Again, it's love Messi over here, so I'm over here ruining their little curriculum. So <laughs> we gotta just do the crossbar challenge. They get the crossbar, they win. If not, then they're out. <laughs> That's game. Somebody has to win. I'm not here trying to split money and all split hairs. Somebody has to win. Somebody has to lose. That's how life works. There's no participation trophies in the game of life. So Gio, I think that's 500. I don't know where he's at. He's going to celebrate. There we go, Gio. <laughs> So that's game, OGO, oh, come here with us, bro. Come here with us. So the first winner of the OLED Football TV one-on-ones, my man Gio here. <laughs> These guys were so good that we had to make up rules as we went because everybody was either strapping or everybody was scoring. So we had to get it to where somebody had to win. We went to the penalties, we went to the crossbar challenge, and we had to pick somebody to win. So I want to say thank you to everybody that showed up. This will not be the last time I'm here for sure. Obviously, you guys showed out in terms of skill, even defending. The thing I was impressed the most with was the defending. Like most people are going to get dead with some of the moves that we've seen here. But I saw y'all's patience, y'all's footwork, and whenever y'all went in, 
to challenge. It was always at the appropriate time. It was only a hand, only maybe one penalty that we had. It was only one foul that we had this entire time. And the defenders came out victorious more so than the attackers did. So that's an amazing job. That's credit to Baldo and at least this FC Academy here and the coaching they got here. Because again, other than that, it's like, again, when we roll the clips that they have on social media on this video, you're going to see them doing everybody. You're going to see them doing all these other opponents because they're not having to go up against players like this every day. So that's just the way it is. So again, thank you all for coming out. Like and subscribe to LA Football TV, live and direct. Peace. Okay. Well, let me see if I could do it. I only had one person hit the post. Let me see. Well, I get two tries, so I'm here cheating. <laughs> <laughs> They both shot wide. No, yes. Keeper made the saves. No, look got, at the film. We got calm. Look at we it. Got camera. Look we at are, it. Yeah. She, they, the keeper didn't touch it. Let's make a bag. One million dollars. I can't bet. I'm not allowed to because it's against my religion. Put, oh, let's let's put push up for that. Five hundred thousand. Nah. Ah, see. That, that goes against confidence. my eighth eighth amendment. No unreasonable punishment. You can't do that. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Yes, you did. I like that. But this is Diego. Yeah, Diego, you know, he's, he's a sauce. Thank you guys so much. We yeah. truly appreciate you guys coming out into our house. It was extremely fun. We hope to see you guys again. The boys had a blast, and I'm sure they'll be clicking on, on your page and refreshing, refreshing every single day. I, I truly appreciate it. and. Come back again.